All right, last night I went and picked up this bad boy right there. So this is basically what I got going on here. So here's the bed, you know, driver's seat, it all fits. I well, if you guys know who uh, Jake Wedern is, Jake Wedern, if you guys know who Jake Wedern is, he uh, actually lives in his Jeep and he, um, when he first started out, like living in his Jeep, he had a car just like this and he took out his passenger seat, threw it in there and he lived in there for like a year and I don't see why not. Why I can't do it, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I got this yesterday. I went out to town and got this bad boy, and I'm gonna try to fit it into here. It should fit. I'm gonna take the rear seat out now. The center console has to go, but I do think it's gonna clear with the tire in there. So let's try it. Did it. Got it to fit in here. Look at that. And, and, Cora. <laughs> and Cora, no. Watch out, Cora, watch out. And this door closes, and that door closes and it fits perfect. That is how you fit a cop inside of a Jeep. <laughs> okay, so I thought this would be a, a perfect place to stop and just kind of show you what's going on what i have in the jeep and then uh where i'm going right now and uh also i let cora use the bathroom wherever she went right there so me and cora instead of going uh the normal way on the highway with a lot of cars and traffic we're going on this road right here this road and it started in prescott it's called williamson valley and it's going to end up all the way in uh Seligman about 70 miles on a dirt road right here but honestly like the road's like really nice like it, someone just came through and dragged it probably so uh yeah i don't know how far out we are right now i drove quite a, quite a ways already but if anything cool comes up uh gotcha and so yeah let's show you what's inside the jeep so basically uh i have the cot have all the blankets pillow for sleeping Right there, I got Cora's bed on there. Ice chest with uh, drinks and food. Extra gas can. All my cooking stuff's underneath and uh, extra blankets and uh, sweaters. And that's pretty much uh, all I got in here. end of the, the road here the i-40 is just right there i can see it from here so i just stopped again so if cora needs to go use the restroom or something and then uh yeah so i'm not gonna go on the i-40 i'm gonna cross over and on the other side of uh the i-40 the route 66 is right there so i'm gonna try to hit that and that'll take me all the way to kingman and then in kingman i'll uh stop 
and uh, get whatever I need. Let's get on the road! Okay, so uh, I thought this would be a nice spot to stop and let you guys know what's going on and what's happening. So right now, of course, just using the El Beno. And then, uh, so I had Thanksgiving over at my cousin's in Vegas. It was real nice. I didn't really uh, film anything just cause, you know, film the holidays. <laughs> One train wreck after another, no. So yeah, just, um, but yeah, I'm leaving today. Right now I'm in Boulder City. It's right before the Hoover Dam, and there's a Lake Mead, I think. I think it's Lake Mead. But yeah, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go to Flagstaff today. Yeah, I'm going to go to Flagstaff today and kind of just hang out and, uh, Oh, good girl, Cora, good girl. So I'm going to go to Flagstaff today and pretty much just hang out and, uh, yeah, pretty much do my thing today. Yeah, I'm, like... Yesterday, uh, me and my uncle went on a, a trail ride, and uh, that was super fun, actually. Like, but it was so rocky the whole time. I hate rocks, man. The rocks are just terrible. But me and my uncle, he's up there in that Rubicon. We're doing this uh, Jeep trail right now, and uh, it's really rocky, which I hate rocks. So here we go. So I just stopped at this coffee shop. It's called The Coffee Cup in uh, Boulder City. Check it out if you ever come by. It's really cool. Heavy heart, no energy. I'm just finding it so hard to breathe, breathe. Life is hard, honestly. Release me and set me free. I'm chasing 